when there was a kind of a political crisis between AD and PDP, and Obasanjo had to come to Ibadan to caution you, not to not, not to constitute yourself as a nuisance to the people of for your state, and that there was a kind of an encounter between the two of you. Do, could you please let the public know what really happened at that meeting? What, what really happened? It's, it, it was a very interesting uh, story. Uh, well, Ladoja wanted to uh, erect his own uh, bid board at the roundabout of uh, the Secretariat in your State. And he telephoned me, Baba, I want to, to come and uh, commission this thing. We went there and I told your boys, all these reporters, I said, well, this is Lamadishina's uh, bid board. We are erecting this today. They should not touch it. Because this, this has been there since year 2000. And we are erecting this now in the year 2003. One Lama and his supporter, not to touch it. If they touch it, there's going to be crisis. Well, six days after, Lariga phoned me. He said they have removed his signboard. Then I sent all my boys out throughout our state that they should remove and do everything belonging to if they see or just a fake, they should seize it. They should seize this. I said they should seize it. They, they should not allow them to move freely. Then the lamb went to Abuja. To the and the president phoned that he will be coming to Ibadan. He will be coming to Ibadan. That we should meet him at the uh, presidential uh, lodge at the airport in Nevada. Well, about uh, Ambassador himself, the head of state, the governor of your state, our leader, Chief Bode, George, Baba Alayende, they were expecting me. I came late. So Ambassador was annoying that after he came all the way from Abuja for, personally to see me, and I have to disappoint him. I came late about 25 minutes. They said they, they should open the meeting. He was a very, very annoying. He was abusing Laraja when I opened the door. Rashidi, he let you go by. He let you go by. Then I opened the door. I said, what is, what is, what is happening? What is really happening? He said, Baba Redibu. Baba Redibu. What is happening in your state? I said, there's nothing. He said, you are, uh, 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 how old are you now? What, how old are you? I said, why are you asking me that, that top type of question? You send money to me. You gave me half a million for my birthday. If you don't know what my age, why do you send money? Are you just giving everybody money like that? I said, well, uh, you, you, know my, you know my age. You gave me money for my birthday. So you're supposed to know. He said, why I ask you this question is that at the age of 76, you are the one causing problem in the whole of your state. We have intelligent report that said you are causing trouble. I said, I'm a real Ibadan man, and we always cause trouble. That is our name. So they, by telling me that I'm, I'm causing trouble, it means you are saying that I, I'm not a, I am not a bastard. I am a real Ibadan man. We, we, we are born to cause trouble. We, <laughs> he said, at the age of 76, I said, well, it doesn't matter. You are repeating my, my age when well, you say you don't know now. He said, they said, you are the one removing billboard. I said, I'm even doing more than that. Not only the billboard, I'm even attacking the, the, the vehicle of the... He said, why are you doing this? I said, we don't want this man there. This is the man we want. And that is all. I, 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 I sat down there. Yeah. He said, what legacy do you want to leave behind? That's President Obasanjo. Yes, Obasanjo asking me. He said, what legacy do you want to leave behind? At the age of 76, that you are causing trouble. I said, well, you came to Mako last time to address rally. It was more than myself, Chiva Kilo Idi, were there, and were there. You never mentioned their name. More than nine times you were repeating my name. You never mentioned other names. I said, well, that is one of the legacies. The other legacy is that 
They told you I'm causing trouble, and that is why you are here. That Adeji is causing trouble, and you are here. The president of the country is a legacy, so I'll be causing trouble and call you to be here. So he started to laugh that I have never come across this type of life. <laughs> I said, that is a legacy. It's sufficient for me to live upon as a legacy. You are here now. You are sitting down near me. And what you come for is that because I'm causing trouble. I did the wish causing trouble. Let's go to your state. Is that not a legacy? <laughs> he said, I don't know what to say again. Then I, I, I took my hand into my pocket and brought out a letter written by one section of your state, because we have molested them so much, they have to apologize for removing that uh, B board. Then I told the passenger, I said, Look, this is the letter they wrote. They have apologized to us. He got the letter. What did you do? Governor. Uh, Mr. President, you are trying to to shit me. You went to university. Lamadejina went. Laraja went. Babalaya, they was the holders person here went to university. But the judge went to university. Either that I don't go to university, you are preaching to me now to to call Lamadejina. Why can't he call his younger brother and tell him what are you saying now? I say, uh, you 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 know that anybody do, do I go to university? Do I do I know more than what I'm doing? I don't know what I'm doing. You know more than what I what I'm doing. He said, well, then he took my hand. I said, well, that is your gift from God. I can't I can't say more. That is if I know. <laughs> then said, Lamidi, Lamidi, you know my you are my son. And you know the years have been nursing you putting you in my mind, doing everything you want. Why do you go around secretariat and be shooting gun? I said, because we want to take the government from my <laughs> Lama He said, can that be right? I said, Baba, the day Awolawa was installed as the premier of the region, we paid two pounds to, for the use of Mako Hall. The NCNC was in control Ali Dabu was the chairman of the council. They issued the, the, the permit to us. Before Awolawa came from the secretariat, where he went and swear as the premier of the region, Ali Dabu had locked the door. When I was forcing the door open, you were standing with me. Baba, and they said, yeah, it is true, I was with you. Well, then Baba said, what, Baba, what do you want us to say again? <laughs> uh, Baba, what is what is different now? What is you know? Then the white soldier stood up and said, "Well, I better take excuse." I said, "No, you cannot go, Mr. President. You are our father here. You cannot just do like Akintola. If 25 people gave evidence before Akintola." All of them will be right, and everybody will be laughing. I say, who is guilty now? Who is guilty? Is it me or Lamadishina or his government? Then he now said, Lam, didn't I tell you? Within you and myself, haven't we discussed? He said, Baba Didi, I've told him the governor is wrong. The governor is wrong. I said, well, thank you very much. Then we now stood up. Protocol. The one that he should fo go first, Lamadejina should follow him. So the two of them were moving forward. And crowd outside, the PDP and they did, the, the crowd was so strong that he wanted to seize that uh, opportunity to, to show that he's very familiar with Obasanjo. Then I penetrated within the two of them. I just, I just pushed, pushed them apart. Obasanjo, who is that? I said, it is me. <laughs> He said, Baba Adedi, what do you want again? I said, I want the governor to introduce me to you. He said, <laughs> uh, the governor was saying that, this is our Baba, Chief Adedi, uh, and so on, uh, uh, pillar of PDP. Then the, the governor now 
withdraw him nearer. He said, Emma told you one. Emma told you one. Because he loved him. I said, you don't, he doesn't take care of us. You gave me 275,000 since we have been running your government. You now want to re-enter again. Oh, no, that means what you're very telling you. We now do think it's possible. I want the military men who are there by not election, they, they come to my house. Are they not coming to my house? You feel it is easy for anybody to rule this country without, to rule this or your state without uh, seeing me? Even the military. 